Hey you guys, it's a new YouTube video here and welcome to Go Hypodermic. Yes, welcome back to the channel you guys. We are here with Black Ops 2 Zombies this time. We are going to go back, we're going to play the match chronologically. So, Transit, Nuketown, Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, Buried, and Origins. Wow, I can't believe I remember that all in order without fucking up. First take you guys. We are going to begin off with everyone's favorite map, Transit. Oh man, everyone hated this map when it came out. Me? I did. I will not gonna lie, I was a hater at first, but eventually it just grew on me and I learned to appreciate it. This map has brought so much to um what zombies pretty much is today. Um buildable parts. Oh my god, I forgot you can't just have all three, you gotta build one at a time. This was in its rough state. Um, right now it's not perfected. Where's that last part? What is it over here? Yeah, she yeah, will build the turbine But yes, this introduced um buildable parts buildable weapons the shield um Transportation as in the bus transportation as in portals. There's a lot of things that um was introduced to this map that um a lot of people don't really I guess appreciate just because of how bad the gameplay is for them but uh, let's get quick revive. Yeah, let's do it. Need a little revive. My diagnostic skills seem greatly enhanced. My diagnostic skills seem greatly enhanced. Uh, wow, I hate Marlton. He's such a dick. I wish I had like Rustman or something. But no, all in all, I think this map is actually really enjoyable to play solo and with um friends. More enjoyable with friends, I would say. But no, I really, I really enjoy this map. And that of itself would even piss some people off. Let's just go into the fog. Let's go meet our denizen friends. So yeah, same deal as Black Ops 1 and World at War. We're just going to chill, do a few rounds. And yeah, have some good old times here with our fucking friends ripping our faces off. We're definitely going to build the jet gun too. As you see, I got the little part right there. We're going to definitely build it before we... uh move on to the next map here hopefully I don't die before then which is a strong possibility that's why I grabbed quick revive because this map sucks sometimes oh the good old diner see I am ready for the remaster of this game like can we make it to this no this is going so badly right now but no what was I saying yes I'm totally ready for the remaster because I think Jason Blundell would do a really good job Reimagining this map and making everything just flow nicely, you know. I'm pretty sure I do have the tombstone perma perk still. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell because I lost quick revive. But no, if I were to have like jug and quick revive and to go down, I would keep my jug. So it's it's very weird. I don't even remember how you get it, but yeah. Put a little boxy poo right here and see what we can get, eh? Hey? Alrighty then. Alright, the shittiest part of transit right here is town. Mostly because there's just nothing here. All there is is jug. There's like no wall weapons. And the pack a punch, but pack a punch was fucking annoying. It was so annoying. And here was something that was revolutionary at the time too. I gotta say, it was the bank. Even though it was kind of done wrong, I would say Infinite Warfare did it best. This is why it was so broken. Because you could do things like this. World at War and uh, did I say Infinite Warfare? I meant World at War did it completely right with just um, letting your players just uh, give your friends 500 points. Like that was, that's exactly how a bank system should have worked. This though is just completely broken this room is so bright my eyes man I'm like squinting and oh here we go the Avogadro our second mini boss zombie ever the game just about ended right there I'm not gonna lie I've been waiting to make this video for actually such a long time for you guys because there's so many stupid little things in black ops 2 that happened in its life cycle that is just hilarious at the same time frustrating and man this game was just uh was just a roller coaster one of the best zombies installments i think ever like the last uh time we ever had jimmy Zelinsky 
as head of zombies and that little nice mix of um jason blundell with a uh, mob of the dead and origins i'll admit even though i do like this map there's a lot of stupid shit that was in here like why the hell is nocturne toten even in transit like didn't make sense then doesn't make sense now will never make sense it's just dumb everyone's saying in black ops 4 that there's no jug just think about it man like right now i i only have four hits what do we get in black ops 4 right now we get four hits we have jug i know how people feel and it's just not the same without um having that icon there or buying the perk or anything like that but it doesn't bother me as much as it did back in the day back in the day when black ops 4 came out oh those were dark days indeed oh my god the teddy bears in this i remember the first easter egg song in transit was before it was carry on it was uh i'ma try it out by skrillex I'm a try it out. <laughs> so so dumb but anyways i built the jet gun look at this baby just just the best best gun in the game you know like let's do it see this the thing is you just gotta know how to use it you know like and that's how you use the jet gun in black ops 2 that's an appropriate way to end it i think but let's move on to nuketown now nuketown was something really special it was known only as a multiplayer's map but after um i guess I really don't know. I can't remember what made them to release it if they just had it anyways, but I feel a strong part of me still believes like because of the backlash of um transit, they were just like, Oh shit, we better get something out for them now. And here we go. They gave us Nuketown like what, a month later, less than a month later after the game's release, so I I, I gotta say it was it was a cool installment. It was really, really great. One of the hardest maps in uh in zombies history i should say this was so hard expect mostly because it came down to this the perk drops which was also just an awesome feature in this map too i loved it this is where uh i really learned to get good at zombies but no the thing was like you can get jug at round seven or you could get jug at round 25 30. it all depended on the luck of the drop of the perks another cool thing about this is this tv right here if you don't destroy it you can also hear the outcome of the moon easter egg so it was really cool how they just like tied everything or like the um not everything the end of um black ops 1 into this map here we also have our little bitch ass bitch marlton hiding in there we got jug wow we got it round three all right we got enough for the box let's see what we can get I hope we get the M27. It's the only map that it actually appeared on. And I saw the Ray Gun Mark II. Now we are cruising. Too bad I gotta end the game pretty soon. <laughs> Mostly because there's just not really much to this map. Just perks and pack punch. It's like old school zombies at this point. Which is I think uh, what a lot of people really miss. Is the survival as aspect of it. Just going around killing zombies not having to worry about doing an easter egg or doing a million steps to open up pack a punch or anything like that just simple straight to the point bare bones monkey. wrong button monkey and we got a dlc weapon all right you know what? hit it one more time hit it one more time see what we can get All right, screw this game. Last thing I will say that was really, really cool about this is the ending of Moon right here. When the rockets come and hit Earth, this is like the beginning of our Black Ops 2 story, which is cool little Easter egg. This is my least favorite map in all Call of Duty. Die Rise. Even though it has the best wonder weapon ever. Still just... I hate this map. Hey, there were three things that were really cool about um, Die Rise. Was the introduction to these type of cutscenes. The I, re I really, really enjoyed the um, cartoon comic like uh, cutscenes. Two would be the Slickwifier. And I will show you the third thing right after I show you how to play this map.
Alright you guys, so this is how you play Die Rise right here. You just grab that, kill a couple zombies. Pretty pretty easy, you know, straight to the point. And we go, we open this door, then we just completely waste our time. Dragging each part. Oh, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Right up here. Don't worry, it gets good. It gets real good here. And as soon as we do that, we... We do that, yeah, you see, and then... We die. That's how you play Die Rise. And here is the third best part about Die Rise. It, 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 listen, listen closely. Little did we know that that outro right there was foreshadowing one of the best maps to ever be released in Call of Duty Zombies history. Here we go. Who am I? Am I, am I Billy? I'm Billy. I'm my favorite character. Billy Handsome. Handsome like myself, you know? <laughs> Fuck. Man, I just don't know why, but this map is just a hundred times better than Blood of the Dead. And I already messed up. I didn't even go through the door over here. And yeah, I already messed up. But I don't know why I feel like this map is just so much better than blood. But you know, I actually try to pack a punch a weapon this time. Um, I won't get the blunder gap because we've seen that in Blood of the Dead. It's nothing really new. Maybe I'll try to get the Mark II ray gun. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. Another cool thing is too, um, if you lose one of your quick revives, um, after every round it regenerates. So technically you can keep on playing this forever if you're a really good player no i'm thinking about it now i won't show a lot of this map because like i said we have seen this already in blood of the dead but i will i will pack a punch this time around because that is one place that has not been remastered and that is the golden gate bridge the mini uzi it's such a good weapon i love this we'll pack a punch this weapon this is actually oh i went down okay that's okay i need to open up some things anyway all right, I'm gonna go buy my favorite perk right before we build the plane. There it is, electric cherry, my favorite perk of all time. Let's go build this plane. We'll make it to the Golden Gate Bridge, pack punch, and I was wrong. There is a one unique gun to this map, and I'll uh, show you guys in a little bit here. Let's crap this plane first. Oh, there she is. Let's do it. Begin. Yeah, it's. it's I think it's time to pull out this gun. I think it's it's pretty nice, you know. It's it's called a death machine. Pretty dope, you know. Pretty heavy. Here we go. To freedom. Here we go. Here's pack a punch. Let's get her in there. I said I was pack a punch in the Uzi as well. So, oh, we got the meat grinder. This thing's so sick. Look at the bullets, man. Holy. Uncle Gal. I love it. Such a great camo too. But yeah, that would pretty much be it for um, Mob of the Dead. I almost said Blood of the Dead. But yeah, get out of here, Warden. Just destroys him like nothing. This thing is fucking dope. Thing was, Electric Terry was such a good perk back in the day. Like, it was very, very strong. It just saved me right there from going down. All right, let's go kill ourselves. In the game, of course. Oh, would you look at that? The Electric Chairs brought us right to Buried. I didn't know that. That's a cool little Easter egg. That map was Jason Blundell's very first map. Well, technically it was Darius, but his very first map under his control, his vision. And right after that, we go back right to Jimmy Zelinsky's final map ever in Zombies. Buried, which this was a great map. It was so sick. I loved it. Everything from the zombies to the wonder weapons to the whole map itself is I just thought it was completely well done especially when it comes to the Easter egg the super Easter egg the fact that um 
I didn't even mention this too. Like the fact that you were able to get um two Easter egg endings, all culminating in this map as well. But let's take a dive here. Chalk drawings on the walls, of course, get you an extra thousand points and a wall buy. We got time bombs. Would you look at that? This was a great wonder weapon. I loved it. Here's our big friend right here, Leroy, aka Arthur. Here, drink up. Yo ho. What you would do to get PhD because there was no way to buy a perk in this game, and PhD wasn't really, you know, a thing. Um, they decided to add perma perks, and what you gotta do is, um, for the PhD one at least, is you gotta take damage, and as soon as you get it, like right there, you just heard that noise right there. So here, I should have PhD now. It's stupid because the way you lose it is by taking fall damage. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of PhD, right? Fuck, I see. Right there. I just lost my perma perk. God damn it. I should have made that jump. Alright, so we have actually some choices PDW or the AN. Obviously, I'm going to pick the AN. It's the better choice. Look behind you. I hated this. This scared the crap out of me when I was, uh. I, was, I would have only been 17, and this map still managed to scare the crap out of me at this point here. Especially when you, like, get a million of them chasing you. Like, it's... Oh, my God. No horror film is scarier than this. They do give us a perk, though, so they're pretty nice about it. There we go. There's our perk. Double tap. I was hoping we would have gotten um, uh... What's it called? Balcher's Aid. Well, why the hell not? I don't think the next map is going to go any better. But we move on to our final map, Origins. Oh my god. Talk about a fucking finale to this game. And what we thought was the finale to our original characters. Rick Toff and Tank, Nikolai and Dempsey. But no, this actually gave us our very first different starting pistol. As in the Mauser. The Mauser is so sick. I do not remember how to play this map at all. It's, there was so much to this map. So much that you had to remember. This was the speedrun map too. This was this was the challenge. But that's not what we're here for. We're here just to reminisce about the old times. The reason why we got into zombies in the first place. I need a weapon. 950. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh my god, out of all the damn weapons, it gives me the... It gives me the war machine. Oh my god. Thank you. Anything but the war machine. Is that the part? Beautiful. Hopefully I can survive to get it built. Well, I wasn't able to find that last ice staff part, so... It's gonna take a little while, I guess, but... That is alright, I just cannot... Dig the middle, I believe, is what I need to do if it comes down to it i might just have to build the fire staff because i'm pretty sure round seven or round eight is when a panzer soldat comes down that's gonna be fun to deal with i need to replay these maps like before i actually just go into them blind like this because i do not remember where the shield is at all <gasps> oh the moves they ain't got nothing on me i kind of want to look for the rest of the shield Maybe get Jug too. Oh no! Oh my god! Well, fuck, I guess that's the way she freaking goes. I'm not gonna go through that again because knowing me, I'm just gonna fucking keep on failing and failing and I'm just gonna get mad. 
screw it but yeah that's gonna be it for black ops 2 zombies you guys if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel comment down below and if you guys want to see more videos like this give me a like it'll like you know give me a good um so it gives me an idea of what you guys want to see on the channel but anyways peace out guys Thank you.